Welcome to the bonus video for working with categories and tags in WordPress. Here we're going to go through a series of operations that you might want to do if you want to clean up categories and tags on your existing website. So first of all, let's look at the options of how you can view categories and tags and category and tag pages. So let's go into our WordPress dashboard and basically there are two views here in your WP admin under posts, there's categories and tags. We're looking at categories right now. And if you hover over any of these category names, there's the view, um, the view feature here. So I'm gonna control click that to open it in a new tab. And so if we use this view feature, what we see is the actual archive page for this category. So here we can see you know, what this actually looks like on our website. And this is also where you would link to. So if I want to, in a blog post, link to, you know, all camera gear reviews, this is the link I want to copy and paste. The other important thing is that you can sort them by count. Because I have a very small number of categories here, it's, it doesn't make much of a difference. But as you can see here, I can basically sort the categories by count and I can see the orphan categories, for example can see which categories have the most content. And this number here is also a link. And that's actually important because if I click on this, it will take me to a posts view filtered by this category. So here's where I can see all the posts in the admin view. This is kind of like the backend admin view of the same page we we're looking at before. Um, and I can then basically access all of the posts with this category. And the exact same is true for the tags. So again, under posts and tags, we have those functions as well. And here the count sorting becomes more important, right? Because probably you have more than one page of tags if you've been using them for a while. So I can hit count and uh, in ascending order like this, I can see all of my orphan tags. And right away, okay, on the demo side, it's extreme, right? I have a lot of uh, orphan tags here. But here right away, you could see, okay, you know, which, one of the, which ones of these do I wanna eliminate or maybe merge together? And you can also view a tag page and view all posts with this tag by clicking on the number. All right, so that's our basis to work with this, to view category and tag pages and posts filtered by categories and tags. Next up, some operations, right? So first of all, you can edit category and tag names. So let's go back into our view here. And so let's say I have a tag here that's called minimal and there's two ways to edit it. I can do quick edit where I can, so maybe I want to change this to minimalism. And the slug is the URL. So if I update the tag, I can change the name, but the actual link here is still the same. And for small changes like this, that's important. So let me show you an example from categories because those matter more than tags, right? If I want to make a category title more appealing, such as news. So maybe I just want to change this to something like latest news. And in this case, I would not update the slug. The slug is the basically the part of the URL, right? What, what is this called in the URL? I would not change that because it doesn't really matter, right? If I hover on view here, as you can see here, it says forward slash category forward slash news. Well, it doesn't matter that latest news or news and rumors or whatever this is called has a URL that just says news, that's perfectly fine. So let's open this actually, right? If we view this, then we see the category page for news and I can show why changing this. So if we quick edit again, if I change this to latest news, we can do that, right? Update. And then as you can see, the URL has updated. The problem is if I've previously linked to this page, or if this page has been indexed, if I re load this page right here, then now we get a 404 page because it doesn't exist anymore, right? We changed the URL. And so any previously inserted links to this URL or any, if this URL has been indexed, it will basically disappear all of a sudden. And that's why you should be very deliberate about whether you want to actually rename the URLs or not. And in most cases, it's probably not necessary. Also note, you can click on edit instead of quick edit to get this view here where you can do more stuff. Most themes don't use the description. Um, so this is this field is usually unnecessary. Here we have name and slug again. You can change a parent. You can apply a parent here or change parent categories. And 
the redirect to category landing page, this is a Thrive Themes feature. So if you're not using a Thrive Theme, you won't see this either. All right, so those are the category editing options and with tags, it's the exact same story. So let's talk about making changes, merging tags together and making bulk changes. So this is where it gets a little bit more involved. In some cases, let me switch to tags again. In some cases, if you want to merge tags together. So for example, I have a tag called hints and I have another one called tips somewhere. So on the next page, but I know I have both of them, right? I have hints and tips and I'm like, well, those are too similar. There are two things I can do. I can click on this number. Remember this brings us to the admin view of all the posts that have this tag. And here I can go to quick edit. And what I could do is in this case, because I only have three posts with this tag, what I could do is just replace this with tips. And it gives me the auto suggest here, uh, adds it to the end, so I have to get rid of this. So I basically replace, I manually replace hints with tips in all three posts and I update it here. So that's what you can do very quickly for small numbers of changes. However, if I, let's say there's more, right? Let's say there's 30 posts. I don't wanna go through one by one. So here we wanna to go to plugins and add new. And here you can search for bulk and you'll see a plugin called bulk move. This is the one you wanna install. So I've already installed and activated this. If you have this, you can go to tools and bulk move. And here you can move categories and tags and stuff like that. So I have hints. Right, I have these posts and I wanna move them to tips like this. So basically all of the posts that have hints as a tag will have tips as a tag instead. And you can say, remove all the others. In this case, I don't wanna remove all the others, like keep the other tags. So these are my settings and I click on bulk move. And then this is done. So let's go and confirm that this has happened by looking at our tags again. Now here you can see hints has gone to zero. And now since it doesn't have any posts in it anymore, I can delete this. And if I search for tips, this now has four posts. Now, why isn't it five, right? We had three and two. That's because one of the posts with hints tag also had the tips tag. So we had a total of four posts and they now all moved to having the tips tag. Let's go back to our bulk move tool here. As you can see here, we can do the same thing with categories. And this option here is actually useful if you have watched my masterclass video on categories and tags, and you've seen that, oh, in the past, you've used multiple categories per post, and now you realize, oh, maybe you shouldn't have done that. That's where this option is really good. So if you wanna move categories into a new category, you can basically choose the category and then choose the new one and say, okay, and basically flush all of the others, right? So here you can have a transition where at the end of it, all the posts you've moved over will only have one category left. You can also do this by other uh, post types, but I'm not going to get into that. So as you can see, this is how you can move stuff in bulk. This leaves us with one issue that we need to be aware of and need to be able to deal with when it comes to these kinds of operations. And that is the question of search engine optimization and redirects. So the problem I showed you before where we, we basically get this 404 page, this also applies to when we eliminate a category or a tag, right? Any link that used to go there will now throw a 404. And if you're doing a, a large cleanup operation, you might wanna, maybe you're reducing the number of total categories you have dramatically if you've overused them before, then this will happen a lot. You'll have a lot of this problem. So how do we deal with that? So there are two ways to do this. The fastest way is, again, we go to plugins and add new, and you can search for Yoast SEO, and this is the plugin you want. However, you need the premium version of this. So when you install this and activate it, you'll see an offer to update to the premium version, and the premium version will automatically set redirects. So if we go back to our tags here, what will basically happen uh, if we do something, an operation like we had before. So let me do a quick edit. I changed the slug here. Let's say I changed this to bags and I changed the slug, the URL to bags as well. As soon as I hit this, Yoast premium will basically pop a little message saying, oh, we see that you 
change the URL, the old URL has been redirected to the new one. And that will basically get rid of this problem automatically. No further intervention needed. But if we don't have that, you can also do it with a free plugin if you don't want to pay for this. So let's go add new and search for redirect. And there's a plugin called redirection, which you can install and activate, which I've already done. This also gives you in tools a new option called redirection. So here you can manually set redirects. This is quite basic compared to Yoast SEO, but it's free. So I'm not gonna complain about that. So here what you would do is again, let's go basically do the same kind of thing. Let's go into tags here and I'll quick edit this. So I wanna change this also to plural, right? So what would I do? Let's cancel that. I will view this first. I'll copy this link, right? This is my old URL. So this is my source URL, I'll put that in here. And then I will do the renaming. So challenges maybe, update this tag. And now I have a new URL. Again, I copy this link and this is my new URL. And I'll copy this link here so we can see what this does. So yeah, I have this here set up, old link here, new link here, add redirect. And then we can see this is what it looks like. Now, if I go, if I enter this old URL, if I basically try to visit the previous URL, it will automatically redirect me to the new one. So for, from the visitor side, nothing's wrong. And from an SEO side, you don't have these 404 pages and the link juice is still going to the right place. So if you've linked to the old tag or category page, those links will go to the right place automatically. So this is also true for merge operations. Right? If I have, so I have a, a tag here called other tag. I have another tag called new tag. And let's do a quick merge, right? Just so we've seen how that works. So we use all the tools now, right? We go to bulk move. And what I want to do in my tags, okay, let's go all the new tag posts. I want to move them to other tag. Don't remove the other tags. So new tag to other tag. But before I do that, actually, let me also open the tag view. So I want to have two views open here. So we're going to lose this one. So I want to view and copy link location. In my redirection, this is my old URL. Then I'm ready to do the move. So all new tag goes to other tag. Let's do the bulk move. And then in my tag lists, let's refresh that. And we can see that new tag has gone to zero, which means we can delete it. But to eliminate the 404 problem, we go to other tag because we've moved all of these into other tag now. I go view here, copy this link, go to my redirection and paste this, add this as a redirect. So that's how I can bulk merge tags without losing any SEO or link juice using two free plugins. As a side note, there's also some advanced options here when you, where you can set the redirect type. For most cases, this doesn't matter. So you can basically use the basic settings and that will be fine for these kinds of operations. All right, and with that, you have everything you need to work with categories and tags and do a complete cleanup and change whatever you need to change without any risk to the navigability or the SEO of your site.